Shakti here. Welcome back to another episode of my channel. All the materials and examples used in this video is only for educational purpose. Today I'm going to show you Oshint Capture the Flag Challenge. This challenge is available on our Try Hack Me website. Anyone can go and practice themselves. This Oshint CTF challenge is based on open source intelligence plus uh, how we can extract uh, metadata from images. They give us a simple image from the image we need to extract all the critical information such as uh, usernames user avatar and uh, their uh, gps location and their wi-fi details and their password as well i just downloaded the image from the try hack me site and see this is just a windows wallpaper and nothing else we can see from the image directly with plain eyes let's try to use exif tool to extract the metadata from this image and see whether we can get all the possible information if you want to know more about the exif tool uh, watch this video that will cover the basic information how to use this tool effectively here we go exif tool helped us to extract the metadata from the image we can see a gps location um, and then some copyright information i hope this could be a name or user id uh, and then exact gps position nothing else we can see from the metadata useful let's go back to try hack me and see what is the first challenge we need to identify user avatar from the image metadata extraction we identified some username possibly that could give some um, information let's copy that and go to google search it out we can see in the search results there is a twitter profile and a blog and then there is a github page also let's open each one and see which one is helping us to solve this challenge twitter profile have some uh, avatar which is a cat image and uh, now more uh, details available location they mentioned a space which is meaningless and there are not a many tweets as well let's go back to the second search result uh, which is nothing but a blog that doesn't have any author at all uh, just a basic information captured uh, and this blog is not helping us to identify the author let's go back to third search result which is a github page where he made some people find a repository again that doesn't have any profile image at all so only twitter is helped here to identify the user avatar which is nothing but a cat let's see whether that answer is right or not bingo that is the right answer so now let's go back to the uh, second question we need to identify uh, the city in which person lives in i remember we got a gps location from the image metadata extract let's see whether the gps position is pointing towards a city we'll use uh, google maps to identify uh, this GPS location I pasted the GPS uh, position from the image uh, metadata uh, looks like um, this is giving some place in UK but the image map doesn't look like it is a city also this map um, is not showing any living places nearby which doesn't make any sense so possibly GPS location which is binded inside the image metadata uh, might be um, a rabbit hole let's try to find out uh, a different location we can uh, notice uh, this person tweeted a bss id uh, in his twitter page we can uh, find more information from the bss id let's try to do a lookup against this bss id and see what information we can uh, get i'm using wiggle.net which is a wireless network mapping uh, database where we can search with the bss id and see uh, some info some more information we got ssid which is nothing but um, wireless network name and um, gps location of that uh, wireless network let's fill this ssid and see whether it is a right answer perfect that is the right answer so now let's move on to the next question to identify the city name as we already got the GPS location of the wireless network uh, based on the SSID provided let's um, figure it out in Google Maps whether that uh, GPS um, location pointing to a meaningful uh, city name let's 
here we go we got a, um, a location which is in uk london city let me submit this answer and see whether it is right or not that's right again um, we identified the location name from the bss id what was tweeted earlier so from this we can identify this person was in london on 4th of march 2019 because he tweeted bss id but from his blog we can see he was in new york um, city on 3rd of march 2019 possibly he might have been in um, uh, vacation so now we have an answer for the question where the person was on holiday I'm submitting um, New York City as the answer. That's right again. So next let's identify the person's email address. I remember we see in uh, uh, GitHub repository for this person. Generally GitHub will have a readme page where um, they will capture um, email address or communication details. Uh, same way we could see the person uh, provided email address and also he mentioned the location this would have been the easiest way to identify the um, city name but uh, instead of spending too much of time uh, up on the SSI ID let's submit the answer for email address and um, uh, the place where we identify the email address that's nothing but GitHub so both are correct answers last one is we need to identify the person password we only got uh, three um, uh, resources for reference one is uh, twitter next is uh, github another one is um, blog page as twitter have only limited tweets that is not going to help us to identify the password and in the github we just have the readme page that also not containing any passwords or further information so our only leftover option is this blog let's try to explore this blog in detail and see whether we have any hidden information i'm using developer tools from the chrome browser where we can see the page source um, as well as the request and response i try to capture all the request and response and um, try to explore the uh, local stored cookies i'm not uh, getting anything meaningful kind of a password while I was going through the source code of this page, I noted something interesting. The text color was set in um, white. I can see it's kind of a password. As the color is set in white color, it is not visible in the page at all. So what I did, I changed that color to red. Uh, immediately I can see that clearly on the web page. So which is kind of a hidden information on the blog possibly this can be a password we'll submit this and validate whether it is um, a right password or not bingo we answered all the questions and completed this challenge this is one of the beginner city of challenge in try hack me i'll solve the other challenges and then meet you in the next video thanks for watching please subscribe my channel and stay tuned thank you